Hey guys, Roby here with another Divi Engine quick tip for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at our Divi Machine Accounts plugin and how you can display those fancy wish lists that you see all around the internet. They're awesome to use and a great way to give your users a new way to interact with your account. So without further ado, let's go and take a look. Now, as always, we're going to get started here in the back end of our TV site. And yes, you guessed it. We're going to go to the machine accounts area. And that is this account icon. And you click on all accounts. Now here you can see all the endpoints for your site. Now I'm using an example site, my classifieds build here. And you can see that there are some other endpoints that I added. But when you install Divi machine accounts, you'll have all these ones at the top, dashboard, login, navigation, profile, and then of course, wish list. We're going to click on wish list and you're going to be able to see here that it's completely empty and we can confirm this here on the front end. I'm in my, my account area. And if I click on wish list, there's nothing there. So let's show you how to add that wish list. Now you can start out with a single column row here. You can go ahead and add some text or whatever. You might want to say that, Hey, this is my wish list. That's easy enough. And then, the next bit, and this is also visual, they're compatible, of course. So it's nice and easy to see what you're doing. I'm going to add another module and I'm going to add an archive loop module. Uh, when you're working with your wish lists or the other endpoints, you want to show posts specific to the user. That's how you're going to do it. Now for my archive loop, I am going to activate classifieds because on the front end of my site, if we go here to all classifieds here, you can see that I've already built a loop layout and I have already incorporated our wish list icon here, but you can see this one's wish listed, but you again, cannot see that on the back end. We'll just check that again. And let's go to my account and then wish list and still nothing. Okay. Now remember you do have to build out that loop layout, including that icon. And there's many tutorials and quick tips that we've done on this for body commerce. The process is pretty much the same, but I'll link the documentation in the description for this video for you. Okay, so let's continue on. So we selected our classifieds post type because that's what we're wishlisting. We're going to select a custom loop layout, which is just going to be our classifieds loop here. And then the magic happens in the loop options. You can see that it's already pulling in some stuff, but now we need to be a little bit more specific. We want to make sure that the posts are published. And then we're going to want to make sure that our post display type here is saved list. And then it'll ask us what type of save list do we have? Well, we've got wish list here. And then that is that we're just going to go ahead and save that up. We're going to save endpoint design of ours. And then we can come back here on the front end. We'll go back to our wish list page here. And there you go. You've got all your wish listed posts that easily you can unwish list them. And as you can see, when you refresh the page, it takes them out. Simple as that. It's really easy to do. Now I do want to mention one more thing. And if I come back here to my dashboard, you can actually have multiple saved lists and you can go ahead to the Divi machine account settings. And when you come over here, where it says types of saved objects, you can add more of them with a comma. And then you can say maybe dislike, I don't know, but you can add them depending on your needs. And that's why you have the option on this layout that we had here. And if I just go back in here, where in our loop options, it had one wish list. If I added something there, it'll be another option. So you can really decide which wish list you want to target, or what type of list you want to target. So guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to add a wish list and display it on your Divi website using Divi machine and Divi machine accounts. Now, again, you need Divi machine installed and Divi machine accounts to make this work. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. We want to help you get the most out of your Divi engine membership. And if you don't have Divi machine accounts yet, well, what are you waiting for? Jump on the bandwagon, check out the links in the description. There might even be a nice discount for you. So with that, guys, this has been Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.